What's happening, everybody? How are you doing today? I hope today finds you well, my friends. It's fine to me playing the same deck that I've been quite enamored with for the past couple days. Don't like going second, but I like the first striker. This is a bad idea. So much mana. Man, you guys, I'm going to cut that mana down. I'm going to resolve to cut that mana down. What do you guys think? 20... 20... I, oh, you need mana so bad in this. I'm going to cut this mana down, and I'm going to get wrecked. Like, first one out the gate. I'm going to be really upset by that. Uh, I kind of want to play... I have so many slow lands that I kind of want to play these and then just do the dragger later. And I think that's going to be the play because I just kind of want to get these guild gates down there. I don't want... Because I'm going to draw more guild gates. So I, I don't want to be that slow late game. So we're just going to kind of toss these down. Wait patiently. Dragger's not super important. It's card draw. We have other playables. Uh, we can do this when we don't have playables. and Kind of get things going on that way. We have the spider spawning, which is fun. Attendant Knight's going to be okay against this 2-2, especially if he has a lot of guys that are small coming out, you know, to trigger um, the draw effect there. So that'll be nice. We're going to go ahead and get our Attendant Knight down onto the field and have a little little baby buddy, a little, little friend guy. Just a little, just a little buddy. Where are you going to sleep? And we got two rescue from the Underworlds, which we don't see too often. It is weird because we were seeing all our bombs for a while there. I've seen Crater Hoof a weird amount in this too. Ooh, this could be a cool deck. I don't know. Black, white, neat shit might be what we're up against. Which I really do like the idea of that. So we'll have to see what happens here. Not a ton of abusable vampires though if he is doing that, so... What do I want to do here? Do I want to attack for two and play my other attendant knight? Yeah, I do. Because I could also Wayfinder, in which case I wouldn't play that land. Uh, I would draw land out of... I would get land out of Wayfinder's ability and then kind of figure it out that way. As it stands now, I'm going to attendant knight into this other land. Which is acceptable to me. I think that's a pretty good play. Another guy. There's the land for turn. Say go. This Wayfinder could have came out, got me the land. I would have wanted to play the one that he saw instead of the one in my hand. Just to kind of obfuscate the cards that I have. Keep them guessing. It's important, you guys. You got to keep your opponent with... You got to give your opponent the least amount of information possible. This is bad. It is not good. This is a sad time. I'm going to have my work cut out for me now. Keep drawing that. Not really getting anything helpful out of that. I can double block the 3-4 and murder the shit out of it, though. As long as he doesn't have something bad, which he absolutely can. Um, kind of a bummer. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Oh, God, I need to start looking at what I have down before I do stuff like that. Because two black would have been way more useful than what I got right now. So we're going to have to hold off. We'll be able to use the dragger and kind of figure out what we're doing. God, why didn't I get that? Son of a bitch. Me. Me. That's what I am. This guy's drawing all sorts of cards. He's not attacking, though, with the 3-4. I will murder the shit out of that 3-4 with one man up. Are you kidding me? Attack. Oh, please attack me. Still attack me, bud. Still come over here. Ooh, be confused. Do it. Fuck. Yo. I need to do this. Draw me something. Oh, my God. Spider spawning gets me what? Two dudes? Oog. I don't like that. I can Phantom General, though. Get kind of shitty with it. I can rescue from the Underworld Phantom General to do Wayfinder again to try to get something else good into the yard so that I can rescue from the Underworld again. You guys see what I'm talking about there? That'd be kind of cool. So I'm probably going to rescue from the Underworld in step here. Which uh, powers down spider spawning. But you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to uh, search through my pile to get something good into the yard so that I can... I'm going to abuse one of the rescue from the Underworlds because we have three, so I feel like we can kind of throw one of them away just to get the Wayfinder out of here. I mean, the bonus to my tokens is kind of nice, but we'll get that Phantom General out. But the big thing is that hopefully 
will get some fodder into the yard that I can rescue from the underworld again and get out there and really get to stomp in this guy's face. That's what we're going to try and do. So instead, we're going to rescue from the underworld. Hopefully this works out. We get four cards from the top of my pile. Hopefully it's something cool. We have kind of locked this guy down, to be fair, which is nice, but... So if this blows up in my face, we would have wanted to do spider spawning last turn, which is why I talked so much about kind of where we were with that. Boy, this guy's drawing a shit ton of cards, kind of making me regret not putting Mentor of the Meek in here. Because everyone out here would have drawn me a card. That's a pain in the ass. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, this could be so, this has potential to be so awesome. It wasn't, <laughs> except I could do it twice. That's not bad. Three, four. Okay, so I can do this. I can do it again and get both Wayfinders, get eight cards in my yard. One, two, three, with the spider spawning. And they're all two twos. He's got one first striker out. I'm gonna try one more time, because if I can get Crater of Behemoth or something, I can just win this, especially if he taps down, so. Otherwise, it's just gonna be two dudes staring at each other with a lot of just boys sitting out there. I'm gonna try and put eight cards in my yard and find something good. Okay. That's just mana fixing. We don't have to worry too much about that. I guess I could've just left triggered, couldn't I? That's what that's doing. He's getting some lands. I'm really nervous about this. He's had so much card draw. I'm really kind of gambling big because I'm using my second rescue from the underworld already. Rescue from the underworld. This guy. Confirm. This guy. I want Crater Hoof Behemoth in that yard, you guys. And Spider Spawning, I mean... There's a chance that I just outmuscle this guy straight up. Um, you know, at this point, I'll just take this. Nothing, nothing good came of that. Well, I guess some guys. Because what do I have down here now? I've got one, two, three, four. Is that it? That's kind of a bummer. Um. Spider spawning. Let's get it out there. They're two threes. I mean, they're not bad. And then I can raise the alarm. Or I can viscera dragger, which I probably will do. We'll see what we do here. And then I start bashing. I need to get aggressive if I'm not going to get that crater hoof, which it's really unfortunate for me. It's like super unfortunate for me, actually. This is like the worst thing. So we're going to Viscera Dragger, which is a shame because I could have got five dudes out of this deal with the spider spawning. Son of a bitch. You know, we really do need the board wipe in this deck. Just a one-of board wipe would be really nice here. We will cycle this. God, I look like such a jackass now. Interesting. Why well, throw this out and get Crater Hoof? Four or five. I have enough green, don't I? Uh, well, I probably should play that guild gate, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm a fucking dickhead. Because I need three green for that. Play my own rune scarred. I'll get my crater hoof. See, because a board wipe's not terrible in this deck since I have so much other stuff to do. Get Crater Hoof and win. I mean, I could also... I mean, Crater Hoof is just win. So, I, I, I mean, there's no question. I just grabbed Crater Hoof, but I should have played my mana different. Not been such a giant asshole. But Crater Hoof wins me this. If he taps down, Crater Hoof just 
wins me this match. Especially since I'm at 20. I'm not going to do the math because that just, that's too much. Sanguine Bond, that sucks. It's not, not the card sucks. I, I'm not super happy to see it is what I'm saying. Because I'm two turns off because I didn't play my lands right because I'm a dickhead. So he could just kill me in one go, since I didn't play my lands right, if he has that card that halves my life. So he could just win here. Son of a bitch. There's like a really good chance that I just lose because I played my lands wrong. Because he's got a vampire out there. So I would lose 20 life. Fucking kidding me. I'm such a piece of shit. I'm so pissed off at myself right now. That would have been such a sick win. Mm. Mm. I was going to go edit this out of depression. God damn it. So I need three green minimum. I'm so pissed off. I should have won that one. Oh my god. At myself, not... I mean, that is just such a fucking fuck up. What a boneheaded move. Okay, I need... That's ridiculous. Oh my god. So unhappy with that. Awesome. It just keeps getting better. It's trying to cool me off. I was on tilt. It's like, you need to calm down, man. You need to take a breath. I know. I know, game. Shit, you don't have to tell me. Such a bummer. Ugh. I just threw that land down. I did, like, I didn't even give a shit. You gotta pay attention to your lands, guys. All right, we'll just chalk that up to being rusty. Uh, it's something that I feel like when I'm on point, I never would do that. I'm always, uh, you guys know me, I'm constantly thinking about how much, what mana I need. I just have not done that with this deck at all. I just have not been thinking about what mana I actually need to get into the pile. I'll do that on my own time, but I need, I need to figure out exactly what I need out here so that I don't do that again. You know, I am going to do it right now because we only have to go to the deep end of the pool and just figure out exactly what we need, get the mana on point, especially since I have the ability to search through for mana. Come on now. Three green. I only need two black. Two white. So it's, 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 so it's three green, two black, two white. That's what we need. That's what we need. We're just going to write that down so we never forget. We're going to make sure we have it from now on. When we see this guy come up, we're going to make sure we have it. We're going to get through there. Okay. Well, we learned, you know. And I don't know. I really feel like a board wipe's not bad because I have the spider spawning. So you, I mean, I just feel like that's... The board wipe's really strong if the next turn I can just wake up spider spawning and say go. I don't have any removal. I mean, the whole idea is to not have to use removal, though, to really just get get your opponent done and over with before that would happen. So, second from the bottom, you guys, that's what we go for, because it's you always get into that one. Come on. Don't lie to me, game. Okay, here we go. Bleh. 
Okay, let's do it. Three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two. Never forget. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and write cloud shift right above that. That's callback. Watch all my old videos so you know what that's about. I'm gonna punch this game in the fucking face. Yeah, dope. Thanks, game. Amazing. Scoy. Fuck you. <laughs> you got too many cards, buh. Why would you have that many cards? Ugh. Say ugh. <laughs> I'm so clever. Um. Three, two, two, three, two, two. Cloud shift. I wrote it's written down right there above three, two, two. It's written right there. Thirteen, two, white, da, two, black. Like my heart. After that last defeat. You guys got 66 billion cards left. I'm gonna draw all the right stuff. Ugh. I don't like this at all, man. Two. Achieved. We've got two on one. <laughs> Say that every time. I'm never gonna let that go. I'm such a fuck up. Oh my god. I won that game. I won that match. And I threw it away. And for what, you guys? And for what? Yo, I don't have removal. This is about to get fucking bad well you know what never mind because he's not gonna draw anything and whatever he's gonna have armor dissension in hand right now i guess he doesn't have as many cards as possible so good for him but that's another thing for new players you should always run the minimum amount of cards possible no matter what format you're playing some formats have less than 60 cards not in this particular game but if you're looking at getting into paper magic because of the ratios the percentages you have more of a chance to draw the cards you need to get out of situations you know when i was digging through with trying to get crater hoof into the yard i only have one crater hoof I've got a 1 in 60. Well, it's not actually 1 in 60. It changes every single time. What the fuck are you doing? What kind of chicanery do you have? Because it just gives plus 1 in first strike. So they're going to kill each other. Okay, unless you do that. Alright. 4, that's fine. I live with that. I'm killing your cat, man. Your cat's dead! Where's your cat? The graveyard, the pet cemetery. That's where he's at. I'll tell you that right now. Um, three, two, two. Oh, uh, wall of omens. It's like Rain Man in here. Three, two, two. Definitely three, two, two. You look at that three sun showing up. Put that down so I can raise the alarm. So maybe I can kill this three, three. That'd be fucking hilarious. Four cards left in his hand. He's got tricks, obviously, because he's got this guy with the heroic. Pass turn. I mean, I've already got spider spawning, so I can throw some dudes in the yard. You know, I mean, we can block with this 2-2. I'd rather not. I almost just attacked with the 1-1. One -one. I was like, what the hell am I doing over here? I'm like, you go over there. 0-4 block? Oh. Maybe. I don't know if I want to throw all those guys. He's got um, Undying, too, I bet you, and Cloud Shift. Well, Cloud Shift actually is terrible in that deck. This Copa Guild Mage is such a little bitch. <laughs> Cards. I hate that card. It makes me so angry. All right, that's not the one that gains him a bunch of life, because then Viz Copa would get real insane on me. Make me really frown. Uh, attack me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Raise the alarm. Pow! Slap the field. Too much man in this deck. I'm gonna go on record saying too much man. I could spider spawning for zero. I don't want to go down on the mana though, you guys. That freaks me out so much. So much fear in my heart. I'd never be a Jedi. I don't even remember. Actually, I don't even remember what that speech is. I don't remember. I never even saw that third movie. I just like, these are not good. And I don't really want to see the third one. 
course, I don't even like the original trilogy anymore either. I mean, if Disney sees fit in their infinite kindness to re-release them in a non-shitty capacity, that'd be really great. If I could just get them with, like, the actual scenes as they were shot, it'd be super dope. I'd appreciate it. But, uh... I got VHS tapes, so it doesn't really matter what they do. I'm not even going to say the name. Oh, content violate my ass all over the place. Yo, this is terrible. Got a lot of mana in here, though, guys. 322. 322. I don't know. Let's just fucking stare at each other for a while, bleh. While well, you set up shop, and I just keep drawing lands off the top. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. So that's my fault, too. We got to cut these lands. I got to stop clicking this pin over here, though. It's so loud. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, you didn't even hear that click. That's what's up. All right, so I'm thinking lands. So the math shook down, but I really want to get rid of one of the dual lands because they're so slow. Even though that's stupid. The land that we can get rid of is one mono white land was what the math came down to, I think. I'll have to go back over it, but we need to go down one. At least one. I think, I think we need 21 lands in here. Hopefully it draws a little bit better. I'm going to get fucking curb stomped. This deck's a goddamn mess, and it's going to take me to church. Oh, no. I'm going back behind the woodshed here. It's bad times. Buh, you can get with the program, my friend. Hit them buttons. Seance. A lot of trouble. For what reason? This guy's a friggin' wild man over here. It's getting kooky. I should just attack with the first striker so he blocks it. Hey, yo, I really like Bremaz. I kind of wish he was out on the field right now. It'd be really cool. Um. Spire spawning for two. I'm gonna have to block these fucking angels eventually. Really bad news here. I've got no flyers except for the spider spawning. I could put in angel. Some angel feathers going on here. I just gotta hope that he doesn't, cause he's got all the tools down. I gotta hope he's not drawing the butter. You know what I mean? He's, I, I got. I need him to just have the bread. Ain't got no sandwich. You all bread no meat, my friend. I'm really nervous about it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat shit on this one. But I guess we've got some really good ideas here. We've burned into our brains the 322. You've just got everything in those colors down there, don't you? That's a good card. I'll put it in. I need 100 cards in this deck. But it's weird because it doesn't have 100. Oh, oh, it's so painful. It's so painful, man. This is getting really bad. Okay, I can dig out of this, though. Okay, I have faith in my deck. I can draw some stuff. I really wish Bramaz was on the field. I really don't want to cut my mana down. You guys, I'm so nervous about cutting that mana down to 21. Like, I was going to do a 60 of this on Monday, but if I make this decision to cut this mana down right now, I'm not going to. Because that's that completely changes the tempo of this deck. You know what? I need Mentor of the Meek in here. I'm sorry. I really do. I don't know why I fought it for so long. Look at this. Every single creature out here draws me a card off Mentor. And if I was... And, you know, I'm the one who's been banging on so much about getting Viscera Dragger out there so that I can get the card draw going. I've literally got a billion different ways to activate that son of a bitch. I'm blocking him with everybody. Everybody. Yep. Wait, first strike, 4-4, four, four, first strike. Wait, do I still get wrecked? Because it'd be 5. You'd kill everyone. Yeah. Good call. Unfortunate for me. Show block with everybody. Fuck me. Son of a bitch. 
I really thought, you know, he could have righteous blowed his own dude, right? Or is it just blocking? Yo, freeze up. I want to see what's going on here. If he had righteous blew his own dude, it would be a 4 4. Just saying. Plus, he would have gotten an Angel. It would have been a really sick play instead of like a wet fart, but whatever. It's fine. It's okay. We're just sitting here drawing lands all day. Ooh, buddy. Rob Rawson over here. Is it Rob Ross? I think so. That's the Happy Trees guy, is it not? Oh, that would have been such a sick play. It's like, oh, right, just blow my own dude. He's a 4 4. Kill your fucking wall. Get in there. What's happening? Three dudes from Spider Spawning. What, do I want to throw this out here and just start attacking or what? Do I even care anymore? I'm going to wait a little bit. Spider Spawning is literally the only thing I have going for myself. Not wrong about Righteous Blow, right? Attacking or blocking creature. Doesn't say opponent controls. That would have been so sick. Oh my god, this is a long uphill battle, but we're getting a lot of good information from this very slow, very arduous match. We want to cut down mana. I don't want to cut the one white, though, because I really do want to put Mentor the Meek in. So we want Mentor in, but we still do want to go to 21 lands. So we want Mentor, 21 lands. I fucking kill that dude. I will fuck. I'm going to destroy this 2-2. Two -two all day. What? What's happening? I'm gonna, nope. We're, everybody's blocking him. Er, everybody's blocking this 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two is fucking dead. 2-2 two -two is dead. Er, ev everyone. Everyone. Just ev everybody is blocking. Everyone. Just blocked. That thing's fucking blocked. Yep. It's He's blocked, buddy. Where are you going? No fucking where. This guy ain't going any place. You got a whole little camp sitting there being like, nope. Well, what's happening here, though? Is, am I not blocking? Oh, I would like to block, please. Oh, man, it freaked out. That priority. It's confusing it. That's a bummer. This guy didn't like that. Also, rate that 2 2. Hey, that, that, that fucker's still dead. Is that what his plan was? Do I not have internet anymore, though? Is that why we freaked out here? Nope, still got internet, so that guy just decided to leave. Wow, that block really saltified him, didn't it? Okay, so we learned a lot, though. I want to cut this deck, do some changes um, a little bit. I do only have two guys left, though, and he gets that 5-5. Five, five. But I, I have spider spawning, so it's kind of okay. Wow, this game's chugging right now. Uh-oh. I think I may have broke it when I tried to leave. Oh, it's froze too, motherfucker. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it back. All right, yeah, get that land out of here. You can't have those lands in here. That's crazy talk. Spire spawning. Shit out some dudes. Cultivate, try and get some of these lands. Thin it out a little bit. Boom. Go. He would have had an angel out. He would have had a 4-4. Four -four. God, that would have been such a sick play. All right, so these were not very exciting matches, but I think we learned a lot about this deck and where I want to take it. We have to get Mentor of the Meek out here. Absolutely. I don't know why I'm fighting it so much. What a stupid thing to be... Of course he does. Computer, computer, such a son of a bitch. Computer, fuck you. <laughs> That's garbage. I'm not going to see here for that. Oh, here it is. Just happened to be in my shoe. Well, let me pull this card out. Oh, do do Good thing I smuggled these cards in my asshole. I'll just pull them out and play them on the table. Oh, computer, you so full of shit. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to edit this deck, you guys. I'm a deck edit. Deck editor. That was fucking rough. That last one was rough. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe it's the time of day I'm playing. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, I want to change the mana up. I don't know what to do here because I need the green now more than ever. I was right. It's it's one planes, even though that kind of sucks. But I still have 10 planes that I can get. It's 59 cards. I want to put two copies of Mentor of the Meek in. That takes me to 61. I want to cut... Let's... 
really do like this or a driver in here. We can't cut. I kind of want to cut the cold of it. No, because I have only 21 now, so I don't want to do that. I want to keep all three spiders spawning. Nice. Let's see. I like Wall of Omens. Interesting thing was brought up in the comments. But I don't have a super strong early game, so I feel like Wall of Omens helps me kind of hang out. But Elvish Visionary can attack, and it draws me a card. And it can attack when uh, Crater Hoof comes down. It's a lot more like that old Crater Hoof deck, the Drudge deck that was really popular back in the day, if you guys remember that one. I don't know, though, because in the early game, I like having that 0-4 out to kind of stymie my opponents. Because I don't have a lot going on until I overwhelm them with dudes. So if I have to chump down with 1-1s one to keep dying, it's going to really suck. You know what? I'll try it, though. You know, because you're not wrong. Um, and shit, you know, I can't check whose name it is. Uh, but, right the second. But you're definitely not wrong. I mean, cost 2. It's a dude that can attack when Crater Hoof comes down. You're absolutely right. So we'll play a little bit with it. I would really love to cut two cards and put one copy of the board wipe in here just to make me feel a little bit more snuggly. Well, fuck me. That's not right. That one board wipe just in case. You know what? But you don't need a one board wipe just in case. We shouldn't... Even though it's so strong with the spider spawning, I would put... If you're going to do that, then you want to put two rune scar demon in. Can you move over one? Jesus. So <laughs> You want to put two rune scar demon in both planner cleansings and really just be like i have contingency plans now i can do stuff i've got legs i don't want to get rid of raise the alarm for this mentor than me because i do have this extra mentor i'm not going to 21 lands i steadfastly refuse to do that everything else is so important now though i really would just cut one cultivate but now that i've cut down lands i need to see those cultivates this is a decision, and I will decide it off camera, because this is getting boring. I'm sorry about these matches lately, you guys, but it's kind of nice because I'm getting back in the swing of things. We're, we're kind of getting our strength back. Um, I really appreciate you watching the episode. You know that's true. And I'm going to have to personally ask you to tune in again tomorrow. Um, well, maybe not tomorrow. Well, you know, maybe tomorrow, because I really would like to do a 60 of this deck soon. Um... I'm not sure what's going to happen. I might see you guys Monday. We might 60 this, play it Monday, see what happens. But maybe we won't. Who knows? It's a crazy world. It's a madcap world out there. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time.